Hey everybody, Palumbo here. And in this video, I am going to kind of go back and give you an old school Excel tip um, based on a comment that somebody left me on a previous video. And the comment is from RAR PC Gaming. I hope I said that right. Um, and this person is saying that they're trying to match a name that comes up more than once, but I want to find the highest number connected to that name. Would I need to also use the max command uh, for that with match and index? I already responded to the comment, but I actually thought this was an interesting use case, not one that I personally uh, have encountered, but I can see a lot of people having to pull the max or min value um, of an associated lookup key. So I thought this was interesting enough to do a quick video about. So in this video, we're going to go ahead, uh, or I'm going to walk you through how I would solve this using sort and sort by. So here in our uh, workbook, we have a very simple table uh, with some race information. We have the, the participant, the race they ran, the division that they ran in, and where they placed for each race. And what I want to do in this other column over here, or this other table over here, is I want to be able to put in the participant, the race, and I want to be able to pull information out uh, from that table. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do some really quick data validation. So for a participant, I want a list. And I want that list to be generated from this range here. So I'm going to press enter, click OK. And I'm going to do the same thing for race. So data validation, list. I want my source to be the list of races. Press enter, click OK. Now I can go over here and I can select Joseph as the racer and I can select the holiday 5K as the race. In this next cell, what I want to do is, based on those two values, I want to pull out what um, that runner or the, the place that runner finished in for that race. So I'm going to do an X lookup and I'm going to use it, uh, do it using two criteria. So I've already done a video on this before, but I think in order to actually just fully demonstrate what I'm trying to solve for, it would also be good to kind of revisit it here. Um, and I'm not going to go super in depth. There is a little bit to it as to why this works a certain way. Um, you can I'll link back to the previous video so you can check that out. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do X lookup. My lookup value is going to be the number one. And then I need to pull out two values out of two columns. So in order to do that, I'm going to do an open parentheses. I'm going to select my participants, and I want that equal to whoever I select up here, close parentheses. And I'm going to multiply that by the same thing for the race values. And that's going to equal this cell right here. Then we need our return array, return array, and that is going to be in column E right here. And we can go ahead and close that out, press enter, and we can see that Joseph in the holiday 5K finished in second place. And if we look in the city 5K, Joseph finished 25th, and that's what we get back here. And if we go look at, let's say, Eddie, we see Eddie in the city 5K finished in 10th place, and that's exactly what we have here. So it looks like we're getting the right values. Now, in this next cell, what I want is for whatever racer I select, I want their best finish. So I want their lowest number, the lowest, the, the min value out of column E. And here's how we're going to do that. I'm going to use, the, I'm going to use XLOOKUP again. My lookup value is going to be whoever I select up here. My lookup array is I'm going to use a sort by. Now, what does sort by do? Sort by will take the values in one column and it will sort them based on the corresponding values in a different column. So what I want is I want all the names in my column B, but I want them sorted in ascending order by the placed values in column E. So the first thing we do for sort by is we give it the array that we want sorted. So that's gonna be my racers here. The by array, sort by array, is going to be this right here. And then it asks us, do we want to sort it ascending or descending? If we pick ascending, that's going to put the lowest values on top, which is what I want. Because when we run XLOOKUP, by default, it's going to search top to bottom. So in this case, when it hits on Eddie the first time, it's going to find the lowest number associated with the participant of Eddie. So we're going to say one for ascending. Uh, we close that there. And then for the return array, we need the value out of column E, but I need to sort column E as well. Now, 
unlike sort by, I'm sorting the same column that I'm going to be pulling out of. So instead of sort by, I'm going to use sort. And the first value is the array, which is going to be this one here. And the next value is sort index. Now, sort can actually be used to sort all the values in a table. So if that table has five columns and we're sorting by the fifth column, this is where we can tell the formula which column to use. In this case, we're only using one column and that's the column we wanna sort by, so my sort index is going to be one. And then sort order is going to be one for ascending. We close that, we put another parentheses to finish the XLOOKUP formula and we hit enter. And here we can see that for the racer Eddie, his best finish out of all the races was second place, which is gonna be here in the summer 10K race. Now, if we go and let's select, say, Elizabeth, we can see that Elizabeth, her best finish was in first place. And we can see here that in the holiday 5K, Elizabeth did in fact finish first place. Now, the next thing I wanna do is I want to do one more lookup because I know their best finish, but I wanna know what race was their best finish. So in this case, we're gonna do one more X lookup. Our lookup value is gonna be the participant's name. The lookup array is going to be column B where the participants' names are. Once again, I'm gonna do a sort by. I'm gonna put in the array that I wanna sort. We are going to sort by where they placed and we're gonna sort ascending. Then we need to do the return array. Now this is going to be the race, so column C. And we are going to do a sort by as well, sort by. We are going to sort the race. We are going to sort it by column E, which is where they placed. And we're gonna do it ascending. And we can hit enter there. So here we see Elizabeth in the city 5K race finished fourth. So city 5K, Elizabeth finished fourth. Her best finish was first place, and that was in the holiday 5K. So if we do this for, let's say, I can put in Jaime, and let's say I wanna look up for the summer 10K. Well, I can see that in the summer 10K, Jaime finished fifth place, which is what I have here. But his best finish was in the city 5K where he finished first. So as you can see, we can use a ton of these um, sort and sort by to help us go figure out exactly, and I'll make this a little bit bigger so you can see, and I will put these functions in the comments below as well. But if there is an instance where you're looking to get the largest value or the smallest value um, corresponding to another value and another part of your table, I would recommend using XLOOKUP and then using sort by in sort in order to figure that out. Um, as always, I hope this was useful. Um, and obviously if it was, I would really appreciate if you would subscribe to my channel. I always try to put very useful information on here about Excel and Google Sheets and automation and stuff like that. Um, and obviously if you're not willing to commit to subscribing to me, I totally get it, feelings aren't hurt. Um, definitely like the video because that always helps as well. So uh, thank you for watching and have a great day.